Ever wondered if the universe in all its vastness could be conscious like you and me? Consider this. Consciousness. That elusive quality of awareness and perception that lets you experience the world. Taste the sweetness of a ripe strawberry. Feel the warmth of the sun on your skin or ponder the mysteries of existence. It's the inner voice that says I am. But could this quality extend beyond our brains? Could the very universe itself possess consciousness? Now, that's a heady thought, isn't it? But it's not just the stuff of science fiction. Some of the brightest minds in the world of science and philosophy have grappled with this idea. They've postulated theories, conducted experiments, and even drawn parallels between the human brain and the vast cosmos. Take, for instance, the concept of the universe as a giant brain. It's an intriguing idea, suggesting that the universe operates in ways similar to our own neural networks. Or consider the belief of Erwin Schrödinger, the brilliant physicist who proposed that there's just one collective consciousness. His ideas have had profound influences, even shaping the field of molecular biology. Then there's the thought of the universe as a living organism, pulsing, growing, evolving. It's a theory that paints a dynamic, almost poetic picture of the cosmos. And let's not forget about panpsychism, the philosophy that argues consciousness is a fundamental aspect of the universe, just like space and time. But how do we test these theories? How do we seek evidence of a conscious universe? That's a question that continues to challenge scientists and philosophers alike, sparking debates and pushing the boundaries of our understanding. So, are you ready to explore these mind-boggling concepts? Ready to delve into the mysteries of the universe and consciousness, to question what you've always known, and maybe, just maybe, see the cosmos in a whole new light? Dive with us into the depths of these mind-bending theories. Imagine the universe operating like a colossal brain. Now that might seem like an outlandish idea, but the similarities between the structure of the universe and that of the human brain are quite astonishing. In both cases, we find networks of individual elements interacting to create a larger, more complex system. In the human brain, we have approximately 100 billion neurons, each connecting to thousands of others, forming a vast network of communication. This intricate web of connections gives rise to our consciousness, our thoughts, our very sense of self. Now let's turn our gaze to the night sky. The universe, too, is a network, but instead of neurons, its nodes are galaxies. Each galaxy, a bustling metropolis of stars, planets, and all sorts of cosmic phenomena, is interconnected through the vast cosmic web. This network, composed of hundreds of billions of galaxies, stretches across the observable universe, forming structures that, from a distance, bear a striking resemblance to the neural networks in our brains. This is not to say that the universe is a brain or that it thinks the way we do but the structural parallels are fascinating. Could it be that the same fundamental principles underlie both the cosmos and the workings of our minds? Could the universe, in its own unique way, possess a form of consciousness? This concept isn't new. Ancient cultures often regarded the universe as a conscious entity, and recent scientific theories have reignited this conversation, exploring the possibility of a conscious universe from a new perspective. Theories like panpsychism, which we'll delve into later, propose that consciousness is a fundamental aspect of the universe, much like space and time. Of course, these are just theories, ideas, speculations. They're not proven facts. But by considering them, by pondering the possibility of a conscious universe, we challenge our understanding of reality. We push the boundaries of what we believe is possible. Intriguing, isn't it? But the parallels don't stop there. Scene script. Ever heard of Erwin Schrodinger? the man who believed in one collective consciousness. Let's delve into the mind of this luminary. Schrodinger, an Austrian-Irish physicist, was a key figure in the development of quantum mechanics, but he was also fascinated by the mysteries of consciousness. He proposed that there is a singular unifying consciousness that permeates the universe, a concept that challenges our conventional understanding of individuality and existence. Schrodinger wasn't just a physicist. He also made significant contributions to molecular biology. He proposed that genetic information could be stored in an aperiodic crystal, a concept that paved the way for the discovery of the DNA double helix structure. But how does this relate to his belief in one consciousness? Well, Schrodinger believed that consciousness is a singular entity, 
an all-encompassing truth that exists beyond the realm of individual minds. He suggested that our perception of separate consciousness is merely an illusion, a trick of the mind. Imagine a vast ocean with countless waves. Each wave may appear distinct, but they all belong to the same body of water. Similarly, we're like waves in the ocean of consciousness, seemingly individual yet part of a greater whole. This idea aligns with the concept of non-locality in quantum physics. Non-locality suggests that particles, no matter how far apart they are, can affect each other instantaneously. It's as if these particles share a connection that transcends our traditional understanding of space and time. Could this be a manifestation of Schrodinger's one consciousness? Schrodinger's vision of unity might seem abstract, but it has profound implications. It compels us to reconsider our understanding of existence and interconnectedness. It poses the question, if we all share the same consciousness, what does that mean for our sense of self and our place in the universe? It's a thought-provoking notion, one that encourages us to look beyond the surface and delve into the depths of our understanding. What if the universe is not just conscious, but also a living organism? This question brings us face to face with the fascinating Gaia hypothesis, a theory that conceptualizes the universe as a self-regulating system, just like a living being. Picture this. Your body is made up of numerous cells, each performing its unique function, but together they make you a complete living organism. Now scale this concept up. Imagine every star, every planet, every galaxy as cells within the vast body of the universe, each contributing to the overall functioning and balance of the cosmos. That's the essence of the Gaia hypothesis, named after the ancient Greek goddess who personified the Earth. This idea, originally proposed by scientist James Lovelock and microbiologist Lynn Margulis, initially referred to Earth as a self-regulating system. Earth, they argued, maintains conditions suitable for life, despite external changes, much like a living organism maintains its internal conditions. Over time, some thinkers have expanded this concept to the universe itself, suggesting that the cosmos might function as a self-regulating living entity. What does it mean if the universe is indeed a living organism? It means that everything we do, every action we take has an effect on the balance of the universe, just as every cell in our body contributes to our overall health and well-being. It means that we are not just inhabitants of the universe, but integral parts of it, just as our cells are integral parts of us. This perspective shifts the way we see our place in the cosmos. We are not passive observers, but active participants in the life of the universe. We are intertwined with the stars, the galaxies, the cosmic dust. We are not just in the universe, but of the universe. A living universe might sound like science fiction, but some scientists are considering it seriously. The question remains though, are we ready to consider ourselves not as separate entities, but as cells within the grand organism that is the universe? Enter panpsychism, a philosophy that says consciousness is a fundamental feature of the universe. This idea may sound a tad strange, but it's a theory that's been around since the times of the ancient Greeks. Panpsychism posits that all matter has a rudimentary level of consciousness, from the tiniest particles to the largest galaxies. To understand panpsychism, it's essential to break down the term. Pan means all, and psychism refers to mind or soul. So, panpsychism essentially proposes that all matter contains an element of consciousness. This doesn't mean that rocks and rivers have thoughts and feelings like we do. Instead, it suggests that they possess a basic form of consciousness, a fundamental quality inherent to all matter. This theory has significant philosophical implications. It challenges our understanding of what it means to be conscious and blurs the line between life and non-life. Panpsychism suggests that consciousness is not exclusive to humans or animals with complex brains. Instead, it is a universal phenomenon. This perspective also introduces a new way of seeing our relationship with the world around us. If everything has a degree of consciousness, then the universe is not a collection of inert objects, but a vibrant, interconnected web of conscious entities. It's a view that echoes the holistic philosophies of many indigenous cultures and spiritual teachings. So how does this connect to the idea of a conscious universe? Well, panpsychism extends the concept of consciousness beyond biological organisms. If consciousness is a fundamental feature of the universe, it means the universe itself could be conscious in some capacity. However, it's important to note that this doesn't necessarily mean the universe is self-aware or has thoughts and feelings like a human. The consciousness of the universe would be an entirely different kind of consciousness, one that we might not fully understand. 
Panpsychism takes the idea of a conscious universe to a whole new level. It pushes us to reconsider our place in the cosmos, to see ourselves as part of a larger conscious whole. Ultimately, the theory of panpsychism invites us to expand our perception of consciousness and explore the profound mysteries of our universe. So, we've talked about the theories, but can we test if the universe is conscious? This is the question that has sparked many a debate among scientists and philosophers alike. At the heart of this debate is the concept of quantum consciousness. This is the idea that consciousness arises from the behavior of quantum particles within the brain. Some believe that if we can understand and measure this quantum behavior, we could potentially test for consciousness on a universal scale. Now you might be thinking, how on earth do we test for something as abstract as consciousness? Well, it's certainly no easy task. But scientists have proposed a few methods that might just hold the answer. One proposed method involves the use of quantum computers. These machines operate on the principles of quantum mechanics, the same principles that underpin the theory of quantum consciousness. If we can program a quantum computer to mimic the quantum behavior in our brains, we could potentially create a model of consciousness. This model could then be used as a benchmark to test for consciousness in other systems, including the universe itself. Another method involves studying the behavior of quantum particles in extreme conditions, such as those found in black holes or at the edge of the universe. These conditions could potentially trigger quantum behaviors that are indicative of consciousness. By studying these behaviors, we could gain insights into the conscious nature of the universe. But let's be clear, these methods are purely theoretical at this point. We're still a long way from being able to definitively test for a conscious universe. However, the fact that we're even considering the possibility is a testament to the progress we've made in our understanding of the universe and consciousness. So while we can't yet prove that the universe is conscious, we can continue to explore, to question, and to seek answers. After all, the pursuit of knowledge is a never-ending journey. Testing the conscious universe might be a daunting task, but it's not impossible. If the universe is indeed conscious, what does that mean for us? This question opens a Pandora's box of philosophical and scientific implications. If the universe is conscious, it suggests that consciousness is not an exclusive attribute of living organisms, but a fundamental property of the universe itself. This could fundamentally change our understanding of life. Life may not be confined to carbon-based organisms on a rock circling a star, but instead it could be a universal phenomenon. In this conscious universe, death may also take on a new meaning. If consciousness is a universal trait, then it could potentially exist beyond the life and death of individual organisms. It's a concept that echoes elements of spiritual and religious beliefs, suggesting a form of immortality or afterlife, but grounded in science rather than faith. Our place in the universe could also change dramatically. If the universe is conscious, then we are not isolated beings. Instead, we are part of a vast interconnected network of consciousness. We are not just in the universe, but of the universe. This perspective could foster a new sense of unity, interconnectedness, and responsibility towards our environment and each other. The idea of a conscious universe could also impact our scientific pursuits. It could lead to new fields of study, exploring the nature of this universal consciousness. It could push us to develop new tools and methodologies to probe this consciousness, it could reshape our understanding of consciousness itself, leading to novel insights into the human mind and artificial intelligence. But, as with any revolutionary idea, it also presents challenges. It asks us to rethink our most fundamental assumptions about the nature of reality. It blurs the line between science and philosophy, between the physical and the metaphysical. It confronts us with the limitations of our current scientific framework and pushes us to transcend them. The idea of a conscious universe challenges our understanding of reality, but isn't that what science is all about? 